he was such a positive wayfinder, if I can put it that way. When you had a challenge, something you needed to do, his, his focus was, let's find a way to do that. He's a man of possibilities. He makes things happen. I'm not sure that anyone has cared more about U of A. I think Dr. Amrine was probably without question um, the best in the country. One of the main reasons the university grew as much as it did during the last uh, decade. Carl Amrine uh, has just been an incredibly superb leader at the University of Alberta. Just no other way of putting it. I don't think I would have been as successful uh, as president uh, if not for his support. He came from rural Pennsylvania, eight, nine brothers and sisters. So to go to university was not in his destiny, but he was able to go to university. And he, of course, saw that that was a story for many, many young people, that the life-changing impact and the uplifting impact that universities have. I was finishing up my term as dean at U of T, and then I get a call from Janet Wright president of U of A is coming to Toronto to meet you to talk about Provost. I say, Janet, I don't have any interest in Alberta. I'm in Toronto. So we met at the Royal York Hotel. He said, would you come for an interview? And I said, I'll come and meet with the committee, but I'm not applying. And that was the third week in February. And on March 7th, I signed the contracts. Everything clicked. Carl has this rare ability to keep peace among the deans. They knew that when they needed um, someone to talk it through with, someone who would support them, someone who would act on their behalf, that they could turn to Carl and he'd be there to back them up. After working with him, you walked away feeling that you'd been lifted and energized to do more and work harder. The deans have just incredible respect for Carl both as an individual personally and for his academic values, for his values that he brings to the position. Carl as provost has really, in my view, touched every possible area of the academic world, whether it was building our international partnerships, whether it was developing our academic developments further, getting our key infrastructure in place, Carl has been hugely influential in advancing our China strategy. He is highly respected in China as one of the most credible and authoritative experts on higher education. He went out of his way, particularly with the student leaders, um, to try to find out uh, where they were coming from, what their, their position was, what their interests were. We were always respected. We always had our voice heard. We always had a seat at the table. I'd never been to the faculty club before, and I didn't know which fork to use. And he very gently looked across the table and said, you start with, with this one. And he never mentioned it again, but this incredibly, it was this incredibly egalitarian moment. He uh, donated a bottle of scotch to my Arctic research project. <laughs> and it was an excellent bottle of scotch. He responds to our emails. He's quite very responsive. And I know, he, you know people in that position are quite typically very busy. To find someone like him responding, he typically responds around 5 a.m. I was like, what are you doing at 5 a.m., Carl? <laughs> <laughs> he was a true believer that uh, the students were, were the core focus of an institution. And uh, he's really shown us that through his actions, through his support, and through his collaborative efforts. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> he had a giant firefly from the Institute for Sexual and Minority Studies and Services. And during the OVA's Pride Week, he'd be out there. He would proudly march at the head of, head of this parade. Carl was a great champion of some things that needed championing here. One of them was the whole role and place of Aboriginal students and Aboriginal learning. The inclusion and celebration of Aboriginal people in the university is incredibly important to Carl and I thought I think he lived that with a lot of integrity. For me it is the place where we have come very far and it's the place where we have an enormous distance yet to go. 
Even though we're not where we need to be, he deserves a lot of credit for having made that a priority. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Carl can be very funny. He has a turn of phrase that's hilarious. He's also a very kind person. It's one of the things that he's found challenging with respect to being harsh with people. One of the local columnists in the Edmonton Journal ran a story describing Carl as a human bulldozer. Well, I read it early in the morning and it was jarring. My first reaction was, wow, am I that aggressive? Am I that brutal? And there were the people that agreed, yeah, you are that unpleasant of a person when you put your mind to it. However, most of the people said, yeah, and I'm glad you are, because that's how you got things done. I have actually seen him within about two sentences. He had just pulled the rug out. They weren't from U of A, but they were being critical of U of A, and they were fairly high-powered voices. And that totally would be perhaps translated as the provost has our backs. After I went through a process and we agreed, then I would implement. Carl immediately reached out to me and, and inquired about the availability of a bulldozer. He presented me with this full working replica of a, of a Caterpillar D11T. Like this is the world's most serious bulldozer. My colleagues in AHS thought that that was a good thing to have around, a human bulldozer, as we tackle some of the challenges that we face. The personal journey for all of us has been just fantastic. Eleanor lives 15 minutes down the street. You don't want to get too far away from your granddaughter. I would very much like to get back to teaching. U of A is a remarkable academic community. As a public system, a way to a bright future for so many people is very precious. Don't take U of A for granted. It is not a slam dunk that just because it's been so successful, it will continue to be successful. It needs tender, loving care, protection, and support 24-7.